What's up guys? So I normally don't do themed builds around characters or comics, but if you follow me on social media and have watched my past builds, my work tends to revolve around simple, clean, abstract, artistic builds, and that's what people usually come to me for. But this time around, I felt like changing gears a bit for fun and see if I'm capable of doing something I don't normally do or haven't done. So here is a gaming focused PC build for a friend of mine who is upgrading his rig from an older 9900K and 1080 Ti to something more modern in 2023. This is a gaming focused rig, so we're going with an i5-13600K from Intel, a Z790 Tomahawk motherboard from MSI, which is the DDR4 version, 2TB of Samsung 980 Pro NVMe as the main drive. 32GB of Corsair LPX Vengeance RAM clocked at 3600MHz, CL16, and RTX 3080 Ti FTW3 from EVG as the core components, and the system will be powered by Corsair's RMX 850W power supply. Now, this being a Batman-themed project, I chose the John's Bow Mod 5 when I was looking around for the right chassis. I said to myself, there is no way Bruce Wayne would put a gaming system in a traditional rectangular box of a PC case. If you look at all of the more modern Batman movies and adaptations, especially starting with Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight and onwards, the John's Bow Mod 5 has Batman written all over it. The shape, the aesthetics, and vibe are just right. I also want to add that during the time of shopping, I wasn't able to find a black Mod 5 case in stock anywhere, so I picked up a gray one and manually hand painted all the panels myself to black. As for cooling components, I did want to go with an entire Corsair Hydro X loop, but Corsair just doesn't have a water block that would specifically fit the EVGA's 3080 Ti FTW3 graphics card. Personally, I'm very particular about matching all the water blocks at least when possible if I can't get every component in the loop to match branding. So alternatively, I opted for Heat Killer's water blocks on the CPU and GPU while keeping everything else in Corsair's Hydro X line. Except I also used a few bits power 5mm offset fittings in areas that needed to be strained out for tube runs, since Corsair doesn't have any offset fittings. Lastly, the custom cables here are straight black by cable mod, because why would Batman want it in any other color? I hope you enjoyed the build portion of the video here, and I will finish off by adding a bit more comments at the end.
As you can see, there's some extra custom work I've done for this project. The Wayne Enterprises lettering was cut out of aluminum, scrubbed and super glued to the panel. The front tempered glass panel was replaced with a custom cut steel panel I did on AutoCAD. Overall, the John's Bow Mod 5 is an open air case with two 360mm radiators inside that cools everything, and I think it serves as a pretty strong rig for the next few years. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. All the parts will be linked in the description, and that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think of this build here. Would you have done anything different? Comment down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.